I was 16 when I had a brain injury, and I'm 24 now. Uh, my life has been, I have not stopped ever. I mean, since I woke up, it was therapy after therapy. After, I mean, always, I've always been active. And I went to, to different places for rehab. And even now, I, I, I come to the wellness center. So I don't I have I don't remember when I one single time that I have stopped. I don't think that that has happened ever. I don't know. I've represented uh, numerous clients with head injuries, um, and they run the gamut from uh, minor head trauma to head injuries which have caused death. Uh, and uh, the attorney should make sure that he evaluates the case uh, when the client is complaining of headaches, nausea, uh, memory problems, uh, fuzziness. These are all signs of potential head injuries uh, which may not present themselves immediately but maybe over a period of time. I have had clients that have had uh, severe head injuries even though their head did not strike anything in the car. Uh, for example, uh, I had a um, young woman, 45 years old, uh, who was rear-ended and it was a, quite an impact. Uh, destroyed the back end of the car, but the occupant uh, compartment where she was sitting uh, was not affected. But because she had uh, these uh, high velocity forward and backward movement of the head, the brain itself uh, hits the inside of the skull. They call it a contra coup uh, type of uh, concussion. Uh, when the brain does this, it causes trauma to the brain. It may be minor, it may be major. You could even have bleeding inside the brain or uh, microscopic tearing of tissues or major tearing of tissues. Uh, the hospital may do a CAT scan, a CT scan, which doesn't show a fracture of the skull or bleeding, uh, but it's not meant to show damage to the tissues in and of themselves when there's no bleeding. So what we do is we have an MRI of the brain and that tends to show uh, that uh, there are problems there. Uh, even if the MRI is negative, very often there is trauma, which the only way we can uh, test is through actual testing. We have a neuropsychologist who does a battery of tests, and he determines if uh, there are cognitive problems, problems with a person uh, perceiving or, or reacting to the world that they didn't have before that, and they can, they can test this uh, very definitively. Um, 